setting the window. Why set a window? Well, there are basically two reasons. One is we might need to better evaluate a function. Secondly, we might want to match an existing graph. Let's look at evaluating function first. We have the function y1 equals negative 16x squared plus 96x. When we graph it, we really can't see a whole lot. We see our existing window here and set in the upper left-hand corner. And we see the origin here. We know that we don't need to see it a little to the left of that, so we're going to set x min equal to 0. And so after we do that and graph, this is what it looks like now. And we look to the right, we see x equals 6. So we're going to change that to x max equals 7. And we press that. Well, we've got written stuff of stuff we don't need, but we don't see way above here. To ev better evaluate that, we can go to the table view. We press second graph, and we see that we have a maximum y value of looks like 144. So if we set our y max value to at least that, here we set it to I set it to 150. Well, then we'll be able to see it. Now, if we press trace, we can trace along moving left or right with left right arrows. Here we have x equals 1.86, 1.7021, and y equals 123.26845 feet. So we have time and feet. We'll get nice round even numbers. We need to go back to y equals and enter x max by numbers that are multiples or divisibles of 94. In this case, I changed that 7 to 9.4. And now if we go to, back to graph and trace, we go nice round numbers. In this case, x equals 4.7 seconds. And we went up to 4.1 seconds. At 4.1 seconds, we have a 127 feet. Here at x equals 4 seconds, we have 128 feet in height. Now let's go back to, let's go to another use, setting the graph. What are the x and y intercepts of the function graph below? And the first thing we're going to do is set our window to that of the graph that we're evaluating. So we look at the minimum value of x here on the graph, which is negative 5, and change in our window view correspondingly to negative 5. And we go over to the right side here. We have x, equal, x max equals 5. We change that in our window view. We look at our minimum value of y, and we see that it's negative 2. So we change y minimum to negative 2. And we go up here to the top of the graph, we see y maximum value of 8. We change that y max to 8. And so now after we've done that, we can go to stat, enter, and we can enter that first point there, 0, 3, comma, 6, 0. And after we do that, we go back to y equals, make sure plot 1 is turned on, and we graph it. And we see, well, we don't see that x-intercept there, do we, at x equals 3. And so we know that that cannot be right, and so it's not there, we cross it off. So we're just matching uh, with the points in the graph. Now we're going to enter 0, 3, comma, and 0, 6, and we graph those two points, and we see that we have two y-intercepts there, two, two points on the y-axis. We need an x-intercept, so we know that can't be right, so we cross that off. Next thing we do is we enter 3, 0, and 6, 0, and we have a y-intercept. Well, we don't see one up here, do we? So that's not valid. Where is it? So we cross that off. Finally, we enter 3, 0, and 0, 6, and we graph them, and we see those two points. They match the graph. So we're going to move it over here, and we see they match precisely, and so we know that's the right answer. Now, for more about setting windows, also see the videos, setting the view screen from graphs, and setting the view screen from tables. I hope this has been helpful to you. Stick with it. Never give up.